Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Tell you what I will do though, is I will bring my road train vehicular up this way. You're going to unload a little bit, that looks like we're on 890, are you the 93%? Which one are you? You're going to put the spout back in now, aren't you? Yeah, I knew it. So in, why? Why do you have to keep putting the spout in and out like that? It does this. It's also annoying. See what I mean? See what I mean? It's it's just teensy little bit frustrating at times the way it does it. Just just a little tiny bit, little tiny bit frustrating. Right there we go. We we we've actually got you working. It's it's the constant flapping it in and out like it's trying to take off. It's like it's it's like the thing is trying to grow wings take off from the field no longer likes to be confined to terra firma and it wants to take off it wants to take the skies now can i unload into here i can unload into here but my I've, I've gone and driven too close to the combine up there up front um it's gonna get difficult now also that's actually finished right what is that combine doing Okay, I'm not entirely sure what number one is doing. Number one has cut... Oh, I know what he's doing. He's cut across, and now he's going to go and start doing the long work. I need to go back and unload number four, and then number three is also going to be ready to go. Number one is going to cut in across there in a minute. Number two should cut up alongside him. There's a combine parked over there. Where is the other one? Where's the other combine? I'm going straight back across here. Ah, he's all the way out over there, and he's full as well. So I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to empty out number four this time. We've got two trailers so far completely full on the road train. And if I cruise up alongside you here, I'm curious what these combines are going to be like when we start working on the land work how well I'm going to be able to keep them unloaded and stuff like that, whether it's going to be any easier or if it's going to be as difficult as it is right now. Uh, if you could just kindly do anything at all, that'd be, that'd be great. Really appreciate that. All right, let's start you moving this way. And I want to get into the second trailer on here, I think. If we... Okay, that seems to be working. We can at least get some unloaded into here. I've got a full tank on this one. I'm not going to be able to take a full tank off the Combine 3, though, which could end up causing us an issue. Depends. I'll go until this trailer here is full. I'll see what this Combine... I've got five ton left in this Combine. Is that going to do it all? It's going to be all right. Number four here. Empty him right out. Okay, he's completely empty, so now I can run on round and I can go and get number four, no, number three, sorry, over there. We'll empty that one out. Now, the problem with that one is he's out in the corner, so he's gonna, it's going to end up making life difficult for us. We know that. Number one and number two are currently pushing towards full, which is, again, going to cause us problems. I did think that doing four combines would be possible. I'm thinking that I was a little bit greedy with trying to do four combines. Thinking maybe we should have tried to do three combines instead. That would have been a little bit a little bit better. We have got We have got number two is, is loaded up there. Number one is still cruising out on ahead. So he he seems to be doing alright, number two up there. Now keep that spout out. Don't go getting rid of it. We don't want you. We don't want you putting that one away just yet. I can get another six thousand liters off this combine. There, go on. You you can do this. I've got complete and total faith in your ability to mess this up somehow. We've seen you do it many times. Right, one of these trailers is not like the others. It's that one. I thought that one was full. He wasn't quite there. Right now we've got all of the trailers that are like all of the others. They are all full. And now we've got to get going all the way. See, a thousand horsepower on this truck, and it's still really struggling to get moving. Like, the weight 
of the grain in here is quite substantial. And there is a mod that you can use, or there is, at least there used to be a mod that I would use in FS17, which was unrealistic weight adjustment, to basically uh, remove the weight value of all of the grain. And that made it a lot easier to move everything. And I'm kind of, I think there is a mod like it in FS19. If there isn't, I'm going to be in a spot of trouble, because I relied very heavily on that one in FS17. In FS13... When I was playing Harkenstedt, it didn't used to be a universal setting. You used to change the value of the weight on your trailer rather than do it anywhere else. Now, I don't quite understand why course players decided that this corner of the field is not worth being harvested. Um, probably because it's course play. And, yeah, well, we're, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, it, it, just, just no. Okay. Um. But yeah, it was a really cool thing with FS13 where you altered the weight value in each individual trailer. And I th that was, I mean, I think that there may have been an overall weight thing that you could use as well, which did help. But the you could alter it in the trailers. So I could get a trailer and I could set it to no weight whatsoever and I could get the trailer to accept something like 2 million litres and... Uh, get it to... I, I can't remember how I used to... To unload from the silos on the farm was my biggest problem. Getting the grain to go into the trailer was absolutely my biggest problem. So I'd have a 2 million litre trailer and I'd get everything unloading into said 2 million litre trailer. And I would have the biggest issue overall of waiting for the grain to go from the silo into the trailer. So I used to park the trailer underneath the silo permanently add one like just there and i would have it completely filled to all of the grain that i took from the harvest or then have it transferring into this trailer so that if there was a great demand it was all done on great demands and great demands were like two and a half three times the money that you would get from the basic crop uh, the, the basic price and you'd, you'd wait you'd hold everything until great demands came along when a great demand came along that's when you made your money You'd make a fortune as well. You'd make an absolute ridiculous fortune. It was brilliant. Um, so I would wait until a great demand came along. And then I would do everything on... I'd sell everything with a great demand. But you needed to get it all loaded into a trailer beforehand. So I'd get it all... It would just be there. The trailer would be there, loaded up. And it could take hours to unload from the silos. And I don't think I ever came up with a decent workaround on that. Like, I didn't really... I wasn't really aware of, like, uh, placeable mods and stuff like that that would work. And you're not going to work at all, are you? So we're going to have to go and spin round on this one and go a little bit further out so that I can unload that one. Where are those wheel marks? So I want to go... It was a bit, yeah, it was a bit further out, wasn't it? We, we, we overstretched. I go this way round. And I bring you up there so that you're on the back track. There we go. That's what I want to do. Put you onto the back one like that and get all of it loaded into there. So I'm just going to sit here and wait a minute while it unloads into there. Then we'll run down to combine number two over there. And then we'll go back over and we will get three and four. How they're doing. Number two's over here. He's fine. And number one right there. And then you over this way. So I've got you right there. Oh, wow. You're waiting to be unloaded, and you're waiting to be unloaded there. They've actually stopped politely, one behind the other. Miracles never cease. That is absolutely amazing. I did not think such a thing would even happen. Now, while that one is just folding its spout away, we will go rushing off over here. Uh, yeah, I'll leave number two where it is for a second, because he's not hurting anything. And we'll run over this side. We'll get number one, un uh, sorry, number three unloaded first. I'll bring you over here, and I'll unload number three into our third trailer. Actually, no, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to have to follow these along. They're not going to stop where they are in the field to unload. So we're going to have to bring you over and around like this, and then stay half on the line for the best travel spot, I think. Put you to there. Yes, he is. He's going to start traveling while he's, un while he's going, uh, while he's unloading. So we will have to do that as well. We'll have to go along with him. And of course he's decided to fold up already because he's just twisted ever so slightly away from where he started. 
Oh, the frustrations this game is giving us. I won't be using the class Lexian again. Not in the future series. It's... Uh, it, well, it's alright if you've got a single trailer. If you've got one trailer, it works fine. But as soon as you start trying to get for a road train configuration like this, it's so sensitive to it that you can't... Like, you're there forever trying to unload the thing. It, this is my complaint with the class Lexian. I like the class Lexian. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful combine. It does... It is a really nice one. It's, it's a really awesome combine. It's, it's a genuinely amazing thing to use. But I don't like how sensitive it is on this bit. Right? It, it is just troublesome when it comes to trying to get the thing unloaded. Look at this. It doesn't help that Corseplay has got it wiggling all over the place. It's seriously. Corseplay, what is wrong with you? You're drunk, go home. This, this, is not the behave, this is not how you should behave. You shouldn't be trying to operate machinery under the influence of alcohol, which you quite obviously are. Course play is up, well, it's under the influence of something. I don't really know what course play is under the influence of at the moment, but it's it's definitely not good. It shouldn't be influenced like this. It de 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 there's definitely something a little bit amiss with this. Something not quite right. Something a little bit hinky. If I can go whizzing on round, at least we have just about finished once around the outside edge of the field. We have started combine number one is working on the main section of the field. It's doing the land work now. We've gotten all the way around the outside. I'm going to take you with our lead combat, with a lead trailer here. It's just going to be easier. And then with the straight lines that we've got coming up, I can start working on the back trailers with the working on the straight lines. It's going to be a lot much much easier to do it like that. Um I will leave combine number 1 in a second. Right, leave. I'll go to combine number one. That's that's going to be our next one to do up over there. So combine number two, if I can have them like working quite a long way apart from each other, that would also be of benefit, wouldn't it? Like as long as we can keep the combines well away from each other, they should all be able to just keep going. It's just making them park up at the right time. So that's you finished there. Next, we go on round to number two, and that one's going to be running. And we're going to have four combines running all at the same time in the field. Only for a little while, though. Number three. Yeah, these are a little bit close together. I'm thinking that number three and number four are going to need to be held back. Just encouraged to stay away from each other in a minute. But if I bring you in here, we can at least get number two moving. Like this. What it what why? Seriously? Just just reach. Right in there. As long as I can keep that moving now. I just need to nudge it over a little bit. Okay. You're now moving. You are now unloading. So if I can go forward a bit more, I can get you unloading into the very back. I can look down the side here. Right, that's... Oh, no! <laughs> don't do that! We don't want you... Look, see, why does it have to fold all the way in before it will unfold again? That is the most annoying aspect of it all. That is the single most frustrating part of it. Is it, it folds all the way back? It doesn't, like, stop. It used to. It used to. I don't know if it does with some of uh, the combines. It definitely used to if it... It would start folding it back. It might be just with the standard hired help that it does that. And then this might be a course play thing where it folds it all the way up and then stops and then unfolds it again. Whereas it, I, I don't know if standard hired help does that. It, this could be like a, um, a course play thing. I don't know whether the AI extension does that. I have a feeling maybe it does. It, it might. It might. Right. Uh, you are spinning round, so I'm going to get number one moving again. And also, why can't you sit there with a the spout out when you stopped? I mean, seriously, look, you're, you're waiting. That's when you put... I, I, I drove a combine for a living. I know what I'm talking about. And yeah, admittedly, I only did it for one summer, but I also spent a lot of summers unloading the combines, and I know that when they're full in the field, they put the spout out. They don't sit there with a the spout back, not doing anything. That's an indication there's something wrong. That's that's when the mechanics got to go along. But if they're sitting there with the spout out, well, that's a that's a call. That's a, that's a that's a standard call sign for the person who's doing the unloading to 
pull their finger out and go and unload them. That's, that's how it works. It's, this, it's called communication. Yeah, it's visual communication without actually having to get onto the radio and scream abuse at each other down the radio, because that's what a lot of people do. Um, can't you see that I'm I'm sat here waiting? Well, no, dude, actually, you didn't have the spout out. So it's kind of like the, the, the clue right there that you could have given us wasn't available. And uh, well, I don't know what else you want from us, really. We're not miracle workers around here, you know. Right, you keep going. I'll leave number one running for a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to go and get number two again. And number three is stopped. Number three can stay there for a minute. I'm not going to unload that one. I'm going to go on up here and get number two unloaded again so that it can stay un stay running. And then I can uh, go back to number one once again. So we can keep all of them running all the way through. Ooh, now we're, 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 gonna, we're in trouble now. We're in serious trouble. We've got to get all the way up this hill. This is where we're going to be glad of having the four-wheel drive. We want to head all the way up there. And keep you moving just like this. Now, we've got to try and concentrate on this. You cannot be distracted by anything that might come along. We've got to stay thoroughly concentrated on the job in hand. Because if we start panicking about the fact that we've got this big hill coming up, then we're going to end up making a mistake. We don't want to do that. We, we need to just keep this one moving. Right. Well, why have you stopped? Why have you... There's another trailer right in front of you, you moron! This is why I don't like cosplay. This is why I don't like cosplay at all. Just... Just do what you're supposed to do. Un unload the grain into there. That's, that's all you need to do. Right into there. And then I can go rushing off and I can go and get the next one. You've got nothing left. Right. On round. Number three is still waiting to unload. Number four is going to be coming up behind it. I'm going to leave number three where he is for a second. Number one has now started a new cut. So number one, I'm going to actually go over there, I think, to number one. What is number four doing? Number four has stopped. Why is number four cut himself a wedge? That's a little bit strange. Number four's cut himself a wedge back there to do a stop unload. I'm not quite sure why. Now, I want number one to keep moving. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go and unload these. Three and four can stay where they are for a minute so that we can get one and two further away and spread out a little bit. And then, once I've unloaded these two, the first thing I'll do is go and unload number one. Then I'll head back over and get number three moving once more. Uh, probably keep number two moving at the same time. See, we, we got this juggle that we got. We we're constantly juggling with them. And because they do insist on smashing into each other, it makes it a little bit more tricky. So we unload both of those trailers there at the same time like that. And then we can switch over to the next two and get them unloaded as well. Uh, there's one and two. Go on. One and two unloaded. Now we can get three and four up onto the bridge. There's number three. Just want to start that one unloading there. And then I can start that one unloading there. Right. Right. As soon as those two are, uh, are gone, are done, we can head out to combine number one. I'll keep that one running. If I can keep number... Why have you... Wait, 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 wait. Let us bring you back that way. Uh, there. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> We've run out. I did wonder about this because I did originally say, I think, that I was just going to sell it as we got it. But we, we've now run out of capacity... For grain in here. So we've got a silo extension placeable right there. It's a quarter of a million. That's another one. That's the multi-fruits version. Uh, it is a quarter of a million. I'm, I'm going to need loads of them to be able to fit everything in. Hey, see, I'm going to need... I, I'm going to... Right, that one there is a million extension. 100, half. That's a million. We'll, we'll go with one of those. No capacity for wheat. Now... I can actually put one of these right in here, and it's not going to be out of the way of anything. So I'll plonk that one down there. I've now got a million capacity for wheat in there. So I'm going to unload that last little bit. Excellent. Oh, there's another bit in the back trailer. Let's go and get that unloaded as well. 
5,000 in there. Right, there we go. So if we're going to have a look in here, we've already got a 450,000 litres of wheat in storage. And we've got total capacity is 2,160,000. Wait, I thought I only put a million down. That's saying it's 2 million. Right, total capacity is lots. Well, actually, total capacity is lots and lots. And at the moment, we've got lots. So we've still got lots of space. That's, that's all we really need to worry about. I got one combine there still crawling along. And that one is... What combine are you? Uh, one, the, 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 number two. Number two is still crawling along. I'm going to go and empty out number one. And then we will go back and we'll empty out number two. So that one can keep going. Number three then. And then finally we'll do number four. I think we'll do it like that. I kind of like the way that number one is cutting out these bits, but the others are not needing to. It's working quite well without them having to do that. Now, you here, because you are stationary, so long as we've got these in the right place, I can get trailer out there like that, and nope. <laughs> it's I'm just... No. Nope. And, of course, he's going to put you back. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? That would be the sensible thing to go and do, wouldn't it? Right? We've literally just come along and put the trailer underneath the spout. Uh, we realise we're in the wrong position. So while we reposition, you go and put the spout away. Yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. Let's cosplay. Let's cosplay. It's, it's, it's cosplay. Don't. Right? Don't, don't let it get to you, Frith. Okay? We don't need to let it get to us. We have got this much left to do. Right? We've got those bits there. That bit up there, and then we're done. We need never worry about course play again. Okay? Course play. Efficient. Perfect. Doesn't make mistakes. Things don't go wrong. Course play is absolutely wonderful. Everybody's told me. Everybody's told me the course play is the bee's knees. It's the best thing since sliced bread. You will not find a finer program anywhere in all of Christendom. All, well, not just Christendom, all, 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 all them, all, all, all the world. Like, there, is, there is nothing finer than cosplay. Um, I respectfully disagree with that particular statement. And I'm going to continue to disagree with that particular statement. I have tried it, and I've tried it, and I've tried it, and I've tried it, and I've tried it, and I still really don't like it. If I mention that I'm not a fan of cosplay. I, I, yes, it is. I... I, I did, I've already said this, but you do get that little feeling of satisfaction when you finally get something working. But it's kind of like when you get a piece of flat pack furniture. You get that little feeling of satisfaction when you finally get the flat pack furniture together and you don't have um, all that many screws and bolts and stuff left over. I mean, if, if you've got packets of them, then you do feel a bit concerned. But if you've only got like 20 screws left over, you sort of feel, well, you know what, that's job done with. That's, that that seems to be reasonably acceptable. They, they, they do give you a couple of spares, so we'll call 20 a couple of spares and we'll hope they don't fall apart. You get that little feeling of satisfaction about you having completed the piece of flat pack furniture. That doesn't mean you're a big fan of flat pack furniture. It doesn't mean suddenly you're going to convince yourself to switch to flat pack furniture and everything you buy from that point on is going to be flat pack and you're going to assemble it yourself. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Who would do that? You'd have to be some sort of masochist to want to do that. No, what you do is you accept that you've done it. You give yourself a pat on the back for having done a difficult job without having killed anybody in the process. And then you move on. And you never, ever, 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 ever speak of it again. Done. Finished. And then you just hope and pray that you can afford to buy ready-made furniture next time round rather than only flat pack. Because that's, that's the dream. Let's be honest here. That's the ultimate dream. You want to buy ready-made furniture. You're not going to want to buy flat pack. Um, maybe the dream... Maybe you can fulfill the dream. Maybe. Just maybe you can get that dream to work. And I, I absolutely... I, I hope that you can. I hope that everybody can have that dream. Because let's be honest. Flat pack furniture is just awful. Um, it's the same with cosplay. I wish you well with cosplay. I hope that you can get it to work. I sort of have got it to work but that doesn't mean i like it 
Same as I don't like the... Have I mentioned this? Have, have I mentioned that? Okay, I, I'm going to stop whinging about this now. We're, we're using it. We're doing it. We're getting this... We, we are getting this field done. I've got the combines moving, sort of. I've got combine number four here that I'm unloading at the moment rather than number three. But I do have a specific reason for that. I don't know what four is planning to do next. He, he, I don't know why he's sort of cut uh, um, a side mount thing here. It seems a little bit weird. But um, I'm going to let him go and do that. And then I'm going to go on to number three up here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow number three along the field. Like this, and we're going to unload as we go. And because I'm unloading him as we go, he's going to end up getting further along the field than what number four is. So there, see, he's, he's just going to keep going. And number four is coming up behind him. But we should be able to now just keep moving, like this. So, so long as I can get him unloaded, all the way unloaded, he will end up being able to go further than number four. And then we've just got to make sure that we do number three before we do number four. And they should be able to just keep going between them. This is what I'm hoping. Number two is all the way up there and it's about ready to go. I've got four combines working in the field right now. Four of them. All four of them are currently working. That is good. I count that as a bit of a win. That is a little bit of a win right there. Right? This is one of the good things. This is one of the good days. We're not always going to have these days. Not always going to have these good days. But uh, what are you doing? You're unloading again. So you've got nothing in your tank at the moment. You're doing a little bit of unloading. I'm going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to go straight over this way. And I'm going to catch up with number one. And hopefully get that one unloaded. He's going to start cutting in on a new section over here. So we're going to race around. He's going to move over to a new piece. I'm hoping I can get round and start him unloading before he needs to pull in and stop. Which he's going to do in a second. So I get down to here. He's gone there. He's going to... He skips now. A great big section. Like that. Yeah. And then as soon as he gets to the beginning of the next section, we will pull up alongside him. We've got just enough oomph to get up that hill and if he could line up wherever he's going to line up without putting his spout away I can unload him as we go along and then he's not going to have to stop and cut out a new section and I can keep four combines running that's much more like it this is progress I feel that this is a little bit of progress keeping four combines running yes admittedly I am driving on the crop I'm herring up across the field on the crop but I'm still keeping them running so I don't really care at this point just as just so long as I can keep them going. That's all that matters. It is the only bit that matters is that I can keep them running. I can do this. I can absolutely do this. Right. Number one is done. We can back out here a little bit. And then I can start going again. And I'm just going to whiz straight across over this way. So number three and four are way over on the other side of that section. So what they've got to do is they've got to come down the side of that section and then up. So they will clear out that piece there. Number two coming in over this side. I'm going to empty you out now. And then we can worry about three and four in a minute. We might actually be able to keep... Like, I'm, I'm now... I'm, I'm just able to keep up with these combines at the moment. Only just. It's, it's not easy. This one's now at 92%. But they are all four still cutting. So what have we got? We had like a 12.5, something like 12.5 meter cut. So I mean, we got four of these running. We got 50 meters of grain being cut. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.